Hi guys. It is a pleasant enough but windy morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And we have stumbled into Sunday morning. That would be September 12th, 2021 as the summer of 2021 starts to draw to a close. So since it is Sunday morning, I'm going to do what I do every Sunday and that's bring you my doomsday sermon where we're going to hear from um, a fellow who I have interviewed on Collapse Chronicles named Bill Lawrence. And I was going to make this the uh, preamble to that rant, but I'm just going to make this a separate rant about, I have been accused now several times in the past few weeks of being a China basher, that I have chosen China to pick on, and William Lawrence, his, uh, in our interview, we talk a lot about the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative, and what I'm going to be doing in my sermon is reading some of what he has said about the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative as being perhaps the single biggest immediate threat to planet Earth. And so, is it or is it not? That will be up for you to decide. It is certainly uh, one, one of the top ten uh, immediate threats to planet Earth. But this whole concept of China bashing, especially because I am an American, I am especially a white American male that if I point out that China is a threat to the planet, I am China bashing, which I guess means I do, because I am a white American male driving a gas sucking truck and living in a 384 square foot tumble down shack in a floodplain that I paid $35,000 for. I have no right to talk about China. Uh, there you go. This is like, you know, I, I, I'm not sure which logical fallacy. Okay, we have, we have Sancho Panza is a domestic dog who kills chipmunks. Okay. Uh, assuming right next to Sancho Panza, we have a wild native fox who kills chipmunks because Sancho Panza kills chipmunks. He is not allowed to point out that foxes kill chipmunks. And there you go. That, that, that is the logic behind this. So. Am I a China basher? Guys, I think I've made this clear, although some of you miss it. I am a human basher. Okay? I bash humans. I don't give a damn where the humans come from. We're just going to have a brief tutorial. We're going to go back to the uh, my very first interview. Uh, here ever on Collapse Chronicles with uh, my hero Paul Ehrlich who once again explains the IPAT equation. Okay, the IPAT equation never mentions whether you're from China, whether you're from the US, India, England, Australia. The IPAT equation makes zero difference. All you have to be is human. I pat. Okay, impact, meaning environmental impact, bringing on the collapse of a planet, is a product of three things. Number one is the P is population, the number one thing in the equation, the number one impact on planet Earth is humans being born. Every single human on planet Earth is a, at least a planet nibbler. Every single human by the original sin of being born a human on the planet has an impact on the planet. Okay, the next one is affluence. The A in iPad is affluence, 
which is the more affluence you have, the more you are able to consume of the planet. The bigger your consumption, the bigger your ecological footprint. This is the reason that Americans have, by and large, the largest individual ecological footprint because we have the highest affluence. So by me stating this, this statement of fact that people in the United States have a larger individual personal ecological footprint than your average Chinese citizen, am I a U.S. basher? Well, I guess I am. Uh, by, by that definition, I, I am a U.S. basher if I announce the fact that the U.S. military, the United States military, not even bringing in the rest of the military-industrial complex surrounding it, just the U.S. military, far and away the number one greenhouse gas emitter on planet Earth. I am an American, I can say this, I am a U.S. military basher, okay? Put me down, put Sam Mitchell down as someone bashing the U.S. military. Because I can sit here and bash myself for being one of these affluent uh, consumers, although I have reduced my own consumption by about 90% over the last 15 years. Uh, I, I guess... Uh, I, I guess I'm an American basher. It has nothing to do with it. It is human. I am a human basher. I am a human racist. Okay? And then, of course, the... Now, a lot of people leave off the T and, uh, you know, the, the, it's usually presented as the two-headed snake of overpopulation and overconsumption. And then uh, Paul Ehrlich always says, don't forget the T, which is the technology that is available to a person to you know, wreak havoc on the planet. And uh, that's everywhere on the planet uh, as technology increases to take down. But we're <clears throat> usually it's looked at as we're, we're, we're going to leave technology out of it because that just makes this too complicated. Okay. China right now has the highest population on the planet. Four times the pop, roughly four times as many people live in China as live in the U.S. Okay, so I think my math is right here. I, uh, I haven't taken a math course in a while. So roughly speaking, if the population of a country is four times that of another country, and each person in that country has one-fourth of the ecological footprint, then the two countries should roughly be equal into how much they're planet eating. All right, so uh, if every person in China had one-fourth the affluence of the average American, the numbers would balance out where the two countries would be neck and neck for the biggest planet eaters on the planet, which is exactly what we are, uh, it is in neck and neck. But as the affluence rises in the, in the country with the larger population, see how this goes, eventually the lines will cross. Well, by one major metric, the lines have already crossed. I don't know how many years ago it was that China passed the U.S. to become the planet's number one greenhouse gas emitter, uh, for instance. Uh, so already China has surpassed uh, the U.S. in that, 
and some people might argue, although I'm not going to get into it in this rant, that the average affluence of U.S. citizens is dropping. So you got to, you know, you got to stir that uh, argument into this equation too. But when you have the largest country on the planet with a rising affluence, you can see it, it makes no difference what color your skin is, what race, what religion. If you're human, you are born a planet nibbler. The more affluence you get, the more you nibble the planet and at some point go from being a planet nibbler to a planet eater. And then we won't even talk about in this rant the crouching tiger of India. Uh, which will eclipse China as the number one uh, most populous country in about five years. India, with about one-fourth the land mass of China, is going to have more people in it. And as India's uh, affluence also continues to rise, this is why I call them the China is the devouring dragon, India is the crouching tiger, and the U.S. is on its way out. The U.S. empire, while it's, it's, it's going to go down kicking and screaming, with each passing year, the U.S. is going to slide down, and uh, China and India are going to... Uh, keep moving if you want to look at these artificial boundaries of country by country. Although uh, I, I a little bit like to shy away from that. It is humans. We all share this planet together. If you have 1.2 billion humans uh, eating more and more and more of the planet every year, you are going to become the, so right now, if you want to look at it country by country, China is the biggest threat to this planet. This is just a, a, a statement of fact, uh, <clears throat> a, a, a lion uh, is a bigger threat, uh, you know, to a, to a baby gazelle, than, I don't know, uh, than probably a leopard is. It, 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 it just gets, when you start cutting, the, you start trying to separate this out. So my China bashing, I just want you to understand before I launch into this, I am a human basher. Okay. Uh, whether it's China, India, the U.S., whoever, uh, but it's a statement of fact that if you make these artificial boundaries by country, China is the single biggest threat to life on this planet than any other country. Um, for the simple fact that China has more people in it with a rising tide of, of, of uh, people spending more and more, getting more and more affluence to buy more and more of this planet-eating crap and the technology to, uh, to do that as an overlay. So uh, I hope I have made this clear. For the record, this white American male, uh, I fully understand uh, that the average American at this point in time eats more of this planet than the average Chinese. China is doing everything in their power to change that. And so this is where, and the number one way they're doing it is the Chinese Belt and Road Initiative. So uh, with that lengthy preamble, I'm going to come back in one minute with today's Doomsday Sermon, we're actually going to hear three, I believe, short pieces from Bill Lawrence, from the ecologist Bill Lawrence, uh, coming up in one minute. Hang on for that. That was not our sermon, little dog. That was just a preamble. You got his...
come back for the sermon. No, it's not over. It's just barely begun.